Okay, sound check. Got a new camera toy today. We have face tracking, yes. All right, so it's time for the weekly comments. I'm gonna go through my phone and I'm doing two things different this time. New camera, no mic, so I gotta yell. And I'm also having the comments uh, like read and dictated on text to speech, basically. I'm gonna have the robot read them and then I'll reply to them. So hope you guys like this new format. It helps me get through the comments quicker. And uh, you know, here we go. If you have comments or whatever, leave them in the description about any video. I'll eventually uh, go through them and get to them. You know, usually within like a week or so. So, all right, here we go. It's that time of the week again. Let's do this. And we're going to hit play and do them a few at a time, I guess. Let's hope this picks up on the mic. It's kind of cathartic to listen to you expressing yourself because I can relate to so much of what you say, Shimmy. I was bullied for my looks a lot as a child and then got trapped in a relationship with an emotionally abusive woman who called me ugly, among other things, regularly for years. I might end up using my channel the same way eventually. As you said, you can't hold on to the hatred or anger. You are the only person it'll affect negatively. JF2 Silico Nev. Four days ago, six subscribers, 1338. LOL, I see. I wish many intelligent blocks PPL and the West would use their smarts to not be collect individualists and more individual collectivists cause the I got mine attitude causes that's brain drain in the blocks community and many are trapped in the West due to pharmaceuticals like myself, the Matrix Escapist, 18. Whoa, okay. That went a little too fucking fast. Let me hit the rewind button. That was a lot to uh, comprehend here. Let me use, use the pause button and fuck. I might have to go back to reading them. <laughs> this robot talks kind of fast. It's kind of cathartic to listen to you expressing yourself because I can relate to so much of what you say, Shimmy. I was bullied for my looks a lot as a child and then got trapped in a relationship with an emotionally abusive woman who called me ugly, among other things regularly for years i might end up using my channel the same way eventually and okay wait let's pause this for a second here and let me process this here uh dude you were in a relationship with a girl for a couple years and she called you ugly amongst other things okay let me hear hear this out here let's make sure i got that part right you said you can't hold on to the hatred or anger you are the only person it'll affect negatively jf2 Okay, I actually said that too. I don't know. I mean, all right, let's start off from the get-go. For one, anger can be a very powerful motivator for self-change and making life-changing things. You can't discount your anger. You should actually use that fire or passion you have to go and maybe improve yourself or whatever. Um, you know, if a girl calls you ugly, I mean, she could have been just trying to hurt your feelings, you know, or maybe you are ugly. I don't know. I mean, ugly is, there's a scale of pretty and ugly and whatever. I'd have to ask, how does she look compared to you in relation? I don't know, man. I mean, you could be like 500 pounds and this, that, and the other. Black is the street. I don't know the definition of ugly, but chances are I've been called ugly before. I get called ugly every fucking day, man. It's like if you don't fit the rubric of whatever people think is beautiful or whatever by facial or body standards that's the first thing people will fire oh ugly motherfucker <laughs> so you can't really i don't want to say you should totally ignore it if people do that to you but if you're getting it all the time from like even strangers that you don't know or side eye looks or whatever it could be the clothes you're wearing it could be your hygiene it could be a lot of shit man so just because somebody says that shit i mean nobody nobody hasn't actually uh said ugly to my face like in a very long time but i mean it can happen if, what the fuck if they do you know what it is you know so i don't really have an answer for you man i mean i guess it probably hurt your feelings because you cared about the girl i guess if somebody that you care of somebody that you care about insults you you tend to take it personally because you want to believe what they're telling you is the gospel otherwise you know why would somebody lie to you if they care about you and this and that so it's a very broad term though i mean it's like Again, she could have just been trying to hurt your feelings, man. So I wouldn't take it that personally. But, you know, buy a mirror, look in it, and be very objective about yourself. You know, I call fuckers ugly all the time. Please look at my other videos. You know, I'm like, ooh, ugly. You know, ugly, ugly. <laughs> there is a such thing as pretty and ugly, and there's like a, I guess you want to call it a universally accepted definition for whatever, but I do think it's fucked up if you're in a relationship with somebody and they think that you're ugly. That's pretty fucked up because then that makes you question, well, if, I'm, if you're so ugly, why are they with you then? You know, why were they attracted to you in the first place if they're calling you ugly now? 
have you changed over time, up and down? Who knows? I mean, shit happens, man. I don't know. But this, this applies to girls, too. Uh, I would probably say that girls take that, uh, that ugly shit way more personally than guys will. You know, because, like, their, their beauty is more or less linked to their personality in many respects. So, you know, it is what it is. So, it sounds like you guys are through anyway. So, what difference does it make, right? You, I, think, I think if I recall, you just said you guys are, like, broken up already. So, why would you care about the opinions of somebody that's already, like, broke up with them? Unless you're trying to get back with them or still in their... You still care about their opinion, obviously. <laughs> I mean, I guess, man. So... You gotta let that shit go, like you say, or whatever. Like you say, what did I? You, I actually said this code, like, don't hold on to anger grudges. I can't believe I actually said that myself. Really, I gotta rewind this shit. Hold on. Among other things, regularly for years, I might end up using my channel the same way eventually. As you said, you can't hold on to the hatred or anger. You are the only person it'll affect negatively. I said that? GF2, so <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> I say some profound shit sometimes. I might have been high. I don't know. But, <laughs> but there's nothing wrong with holding on to anger if you're using it for motivational purposes, man. <sighs> anger is a very powerful motivator. So is hate. So is love. Everything. All emotions are powerful motivators or whatever. Sometimes people need that kick in the ass to get going or whatever, man. So... I don't know if I remember actually saying that, but if I did, I must have said it in the context of something else or whatever. Like, if you've been, you know, like you say, kicked down in the dirt and done wrong, done dirty or something like that, you can use that as a powerful motivational tool to get yourself up out of your predicament or whatever. You have to ask yourself, how did you get in that position? What can you do to get out of it? How were you before you met her? All that good stuff. And I guess go from there, man. Yeah. I hope that answers your question. I can't believe I actually said that, man. I, this is the thing about being a YouTuber or whatever. Niggas are always be like, well, you said this back then in that video. And I'm like, man, dog, niggas be quoting you on shit. <laughs> Fuck. Why don't you just, if you're curious about my opinion and stuff, please, if you know me personally, or just ask me in real time what I think about this shit today, please. Yeah. Shit, niggas be digging up your old quotes and shit. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, but thank you for the comment and all that good stuff. All right next comment on the thing I hope this audio plays that you can hear it on the speaker. I hope Let go Nev. four days ago six subscribers 1338 hello LIC. I wish many intelligent blocks PPL and the West would use their smarts to not be collect individualists and more individual collectivists cause the I got mine attitude causes S brain drain in the blocks community and many are trapped in the West due to pharmaceuticals like myself the matrix escapist. Okay, um, that was a very confusing comment, man. This is the, the guy writes all the time, J2 Silicon V or something like that. I don't know these people personally. I mean, you're cool, dude. What do you mean you're trapped in the West by pharmaceuticals? Are you addicted to pharma? I mean, a lot of people are. It's okay if we're cool for admitting for it, but I mean, shit, man. What, what's the problem again? Uh, something about I got mine attitude. I assume you're talking about like me, like, yeah, I got my condo in Thailand, you know, nigga, I work for it, I make movies, etc. I do what I got to do for it. But I mean, yeah, of course, you have to take, you have to, nobody has given me anything in a hand. I have never been gifted or grandfathered shit. So of course, I'm proud of whatever I work for for myself and the needs, wants and desires of the block. I think he meant to say black community, but the, the text speech jumbled it up. But I'm not really concerned about what the so-called black community is doing back in America. They can, they're going to do what they do. Why are you asking me? I'm not, I'm not there. When I go back, I probably won't be there either. I mean, I try to avoid it. It's my <laughs> shit, man. Let me play this back to make sure I'm not misunderstanding you, though. Hold on. As you said, you can't hold on to the hatred or anger. Yeah, You're yeah, the yeah, only yeah. person it'll affect negatively. Yeah. JF2 Silico Nev. Four days ago, six subscribers, 1338, LOL, I wish many intelligent blocks PPL and the West would use their smarts to not be collect individualists and more individual collectivists cause the I got. Collected, collected individualists. I haven't heard that kind of language since I've watched pimp movies from, uh, what was that? Was that in the Mac where he says we need to collectivize where the pimps are sitting around the thing? Collective individuality. I don't even know what that means, man. Does, does that mean like I'm not part of a this like groupthink project? If I'm if I'm understanding this correctly, like no, man. I, I don't have like a council of uh, 
you know, the fucking Star Wars Wise Council and all that shit. There's, there's, there's no, I don't consult with people. There's no group of individuals or a conspiracy that's got me here or keeps me doing what I'm doing. I'm doing everything voluntarily. So this is just a business plan, man. You make money, you go buy some shit and you continue making money and more or less, that's it. I mean, or you work a job and do it however you have to. But I mean, there's no, uh, there's no conspiracy or master plan or I'm not trying to like save the black community or some things just can't be saved, man. Do you remember the rapper Too Short from Oakland where I'm from? Man, he had that, that song called City of Dope where he says, Oakland, California is the city of dope. Couldn't be saved by John the Pope. Remember that? It's very true. That was like in the 80s, man. So, no, I'm not trying to save the black community. The Some things are foobar, man. Fucked up beyond all repair. I, I don't have a solution or I'm not... I am not smart enough to engineer a solution to save the black community. I'm not the one that got it the way it is. I don't have a solution. I don't have an answer. I don't even know if it's a valid problem. I mean, what is the actual problem? You have to, like, define whatever. But... To answer your question, no, I don't want to live there. I try not to go through there if I can. <laughs> Shit. Why would I? It's a fucking war zone, man. Try to avoid more or less like high crime areas and stuff like that. But you, you can't say that black black communities are high crime. But I mean, they're their black communities are definitely uh, what do you want to call it? Borders are drawn, gerrymandered, or they're very uh, they're more heavily patrolled. There is more crime because there's more cops. <laughs> more cops, more crime. You know, they go hand in hand, right? If a tree falls in the forest, does anyone hear it? Like one of those questions. So, yeah, man, um, I don't know about the black community. I, I don't know. I'm the wrong person to ask about that. All right, next comment. <laughs> okay. I hope the mic is working on this. Mine attitude causes this brain drain in the blocks community, and many are trapped in the West due to pharmaceuticals like myself, the Matrix Escapist. 18 hours ago, two subscribers, I agree with everything here. Interesting idea with the 24 hours office space. I'd like to see a video about dating as a black man in Thailand currently. You've touched the subject in previous videos, but I'd like to hear an update on the climate for us out there if possible. Based on your previous conversations, the Philippines isn't a good idea, but Thailand is a little more tolerant. They want white money, Thai babies, black dick. I remember you saying, is this still true? Do you need slash choose to monger? Are you able to date organically? Whoa. If you do date, are they asking for me? <laughs> Yo, you my boy, but you ask all kind of like private investigator questions and shit like that. Let me go rewind from where were you at the beginning? Babies. Black dick. I remember you <laughs> saying, oh, out like there if like... possible. Wait, wait. It's videos, but I'd like to hear an update on. As a black man in Thailand currently, you've touched the subject in previous videos, but I'd like to hear an update on the climate for us out there if possible. Based on your previous conversations, the Philippines isn't a good idea, but Thailand is a little more tolerant. Okay, as far as an update on things, if you guys don't know, I do have a girlfriend. She's not a Thai girlfriend. I got a white girlfriend. She's back in America, right? I am not dating any Thai girls here. I'm not tricking. I've been to the massage places a couple times just for basic massages and stuff like that. But I've been pretty much racing the motorcycle if you follow the older videos and fucking with my plants here, more or less, and playing video games and catching up on stuff, if you guys have caught that. This trip is a little different than a lot of my previous trips or whatever that I've done in the past. So I'm using Thailand, using my place as leverage, which I own, to save some expenses and to cover some bills back home, save up some money, do some shoots and all that stuff back home, and I'm relocating and stuff like that to like answer your questions in a simple form. So uh, I have met a few black guys here, okay, around town or whatever, and you know, hang out and say what's up and shoot the shit with them and stuff like that. Um, they they're with Thai girls, yes, they're they have they don't seem to have any problem in scoring them whatever you mean but i mean most of them are like pay for play type of girls or whatever but that's the nature of the beast here right um i don't think i've ever met a black guy or any foreigner for that matter that's had a thai girl he hasn't had to go to the atm for that's what a lot of the previous shows are about yeah so that's pretty much it as long as you're okay with that is great man i mean you more or less you look at it like you got to spend money wherever you go basically but uh, the pay for play thing is like more or less ingrained or embedded in this culture here. So, you know, say you're at a place, you sit down, 
you have a drink, whatever you're expected to buy, uh, you're expected to buy the girl a drink, et cetera, stuff like that. Uh, if the girl spends time with you, you're expected to compensate her for her time. It's like an unwritten rule, more or less. Yeah. Like that. Yeah. So, no, I'm not really fucking with that. I got a very fast motorcycle and I enjoy riding it. And that's my, that's more or less my hobby, man. I'm busy with my, my website shit, doing my plants. Um, you know, I'm doing the racetrack stuff every now and then. And I run like a lot and I work out a lot and my schedule is actually pretty full. So that's that's my personal situation. But for you as a tourist, as a black tourist coming here, I would definitely say Thailand. I recommend it much like three times more than I would say the Philippines. Yes, I think you'll have a much better time here. There's a lot more stuff you could do and get involved in. Um, I've, I've said before in the past, I think the Philippines is a little bit more of a dangerous country. Um, they would have definitely stolen this, this motorcycle I got by now. Um, it's just like a more a more impoverished place, but as far as you being a black guy, they probably like you a hell of a lot less than they do here. Um, you know, I'm not saying the girls here are like in love with you or anything like that, but in the Philippines, I could almost say I could see the hate in their eyes. They don't want to look at you, man. It's like, it's like it's pretty much that bad, right? They hate their own brown skin, so how do you think they're going to feel about you, you know? And it's, I'm not saying it's not the same thing here, but I mean, I would say that... Uh, yeah, well, if the shades of Thai girls can vary. Um, for, for, most, for the most part, from what I've noticed, though, most of the time when you see a Thai girl with a black guy, she's usually uh, as dark, if not darker, than, than the guy. It's almost like a colorism kind of thing about your shades. There's varying, varying shades of black they'll tolerate. So a lot of people don't talk about that, but that's really what it boils down to is like, how black are you? How dark are you? You know, if you're dark as like, say, uh, Bangladeshi, Pakistani, straight off from India where it's 100 degrees outside every day, your skin's going to be burnt, man. I was pretty dark when I first got here from just being out in the sun and stuff and uh, biking and stuff in California. But it's like, yeah, um, I'm indoors most of the time. So that's, yeah, cover up with a bandana, ride the bike for, for a variety of reasons, man. But if you get too dark here, it can be kind of a bad thing, you know. I am young, he's black as a raven, they'll say. You know, I've said that on many shows. So let me go back to your uh, robot comment here. They want white money, Thai babies, black dick. I remember you saying, is this still true? Do you need slash choose? It's probably still true, but that's really funny just hearing me quote, hearing people replay my quotes back like that. Munger, are you able to date organically? If you do date, are they asking for money regularly? Yes. I'd also like your opinion <laughs> on colorism slash racism on South American countries like Colombia or DR or Brazil. Okay, um, colorism exists in all those countries. Yeah, the lighter your skin, the better. I've never been to Brazil. Um, I have been to Colombia and Dominican Republic. I would say Dominican Republic is going to be more tolerant of you because for the most part, they are basically more black or more African, more... You share more... If, as a black person, you share more DNA in common with them. So they're not as... Um, Basically, they're just not, I'll, I'll just say, they're, they're not as white as Colombians. Colombians, they, let me fix this tripod thing here. There we go. Colombians have, I would say, a lot more European DNA than Dominicans on average. Even though Colombians, they can go to Amazon and all that other shit, they still have more uh, European or Spain DNA or whatever than uh, Dominicans do. Dominicans have a little bit of Spanish, Spain DNA, but um, I would say not as much as Colombians. They're, they're more uh, whiter, and I would have to say they probably prefer white guys there. In my experiences in Colombia, um, what did I do? I had one Colombian girl, and I had to pay for her. The whole like five five week tray stay I was there, right? So I learned that, um, at least while I was there, there were girls from European countries, white girls, and they tended to like me a lot more than the Colombian girls. And that's for a variety of reasons. I mean, I'm uh, there's already like probably one third of Colombia is already black, black people anyway. I mean, they look just just like you and me, man. You know, assuming you're American, I think you are. So, oh, no, 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 wait, Matrix Escapist. You're the guy, black guy from the UK. Yeah, so whatever, man, you probably look like me. I don't know. But anyway, yeah, it's uh, there's already a lot of black people in Colombia. They're there. They're, they're on the streets. They're playing music. They're they're hustling. They're doing what they do. They're the delivery drivers. And most often if not, most often, if not, the dark-skinned people are doing most of the shit, menial labor type of jobs. Your garbage man, street sweeper, grunt work, whatever type of manual labor, 
that's what you see most of the darker people doing. So they're gonna, the girls are kind of going to classify you in that category. And unless you actually look like a, um, a real American, meaning like a football jersey, a basketball jersey, expensive shoes, Jordans, that kind of shit, then they might think that you're just a local Colombian. That's probably what they did for me because I'm, I'm relatively smaller than the average black guy, probably runner. I wear soccer shirts and shit. They think I speak Spanish. They probably think I'm one of them. So they're not going to give the same hospitality towards a local as they, hey, a local's going to get no time of day from them at all. You know, they think they're probably related to them or something to that effect. So, yeah, that's my experience with Colombia. Dominican Republic, um, you'll probably be welcome with a little more open arms. Yeah. Yeah, I would even, I would actually say just X the Philippines off your list for, for that matter. Brazil, I've heard is kind of nice, but again, I've never been, so I can't like judge on it or whatever. But if I had to pick like countries for you to recommend to visit, I would say Thailand and Dominican Republic and probably Costa Rica too. Don't leave that one out if it's affordable enough for you or whatever. But Colombia kind of ranks down on the list there, unless you like white girls. There's a lot of European white girls at the hostels and stuff like that there, and they have never seen black people before, stuff like that. And they probably are more trusting with you, an English-speaking American or UK guy, than, you know, Tito or Pablo, the other local black guy that plays the coconut drums or whatever on the corner. You know what I'm saying? It's probably a safety thing. I don't know. Or at least the English thing or a westernized thing. I don't know the answer to that. You should probably ask them. Yeah. So let me play this back and see that I answer this correctly here. Or in its entirety. Colombia. Hold on. Okay. I'd also like your opinion on colorism slash racism on South American countries like Colombia or DR or Brazil in comparison to Thailand. Is Thailand a better or worse dating market for us? It's apparently a safer environment with less crime, but are women valuing us in Thailand more than South America? JF2 Silico Nev, four days ago, six subscribers gangs talked, what did you do? <laughs> That's two different comments or two different uh, things entirely. To answer your question about do girls value you here in Thailand more than they do in Spanish countries? Um... I mean, I guess any girl that you pay is going to value you. Uh, that's a very broad question. Um, if I really had to answer this straight up with my, like, internal knowledge and experience, man, I would wager to say that both Colombian and Thai girls do not want black men. I think that's probably a fair statement. They'll settle for them or they'll accept them or they'll take your money. You could trick with them. But as far as like actually dating them and, you know, you're going to think you're going to meet their family and be in this international United Nations kind of family thing, that's kind of like a slim thing, I think, man. That's my personal opinion on it. I've never had it happen to me, so I can't, I can't, that's just my experience. Your mileage may vary, you know what I'm saying? Like I've never, I've never in Thailand uh, gone to like the farm or the country where the girls' families are and stuff like that. I've never seen, they've never taken me to their rice patties and this and that and probably because they got some nice shit in the country or whatever too they don't want you to see. You know, a lot of times I've noticed they don't want you to see that they're really not as poor as they play it off to be. You know what I'm saying? So that could be part of that shit too. Or it could be they just, I don't know, I mean like as a foreigner you should be a welcome as like a, the walking ATM with legs per se, but um, I would say that in Thailand, at least my, my experiences here, because I don't really know about Colombia and shit, um, the, a lot of the local girls here, they, they, they're, they're, they're cool with you to be out in public in, say, the, in Pattaya or maybe Bangkok or somewhere, Phuket or wherever the tourist zones are. But if you venture outside of the tourist zones and you try to go to like a little local food market or whatever and stuff, my experiences have been Thai girls will walk about 12 feet behind you or whatever. Like, as if, like, I'm not with this guy, I don't know him. Like, they're, my personal experience I'm talking about is, like, your mileage would probably be something like that. They're not, they don't necessarily want to be publicly judged or scrutinized because if they are seen with you, they're probably going to be perceived as a working girl. You know what I'm saying? And that might be something that she doesn't want the, the shame of. And that's okay, to, like I say, it's okay for them to see you nearby the beach zone where there's already a bunch of foreigners and stuff like that. But I mean, try going outside of that zone and see see what it's like. I mean, uh, I, I can give you many examples. I've had girls like, I say some shit like, hey, you want to go to that island or you want to go to that water park or whatever that's like, you know, on the outskirts of this little tourist zone, shit like that. And they'll be like, 
oh, no, maybe next year or maybe next time, that kind of shit. They'll kick it down the road because I realized that if they're going to be in the presence of other like uh, Thai families and stuff like that, a lot of them, they can't take the heat of being judged like that. Remember, these girls are not porn stars. They don't necessarily have the, the thick... 35 layers of skin that a lot of uh, you know adult video girls do though you could kick kick shit at them all day and they'll they'll kick it back to you three times harder you know <laughs> look at Twitter you know so yeah a lot of girls don't have that mental fortitude to deal with public scrutiny and a hundred eyeballs at them you know so it could be a shame thing you know but whatever but they'll be seen with a white dude out here nearby me but they probably wouldn't be there caught you know being nearby me or anything brown for that matter. Yeah, not outside of the tourist zone. So that's, again, that's been my experience or whatever. Your mileages may vary. And uh, it's up to, it's, it's, it's really kind of the girl's thing or whatever too. And again, it could be a colorism thing. It could be, might be, maybe I'm too dark or maybe they're too dark or something to that effect. But I'm going to guess most likely it has something to do with being black because <laughs> that's what I blame everything else on. So if everything else adds up, you treat her well, you do this, you, you're, you're paying for her time for fuck's sakes. I don't think that they should treat you that way. You know, they should treat you as their man like that, especially if they're on the clock for Christ's sakes. So if I can't get that minimal level of respect, then I'm just really not interested. Fuck it. I'll, I'll stay at home and jack off and play video games if that's what it comes down to. <laughs> Go ride the fucking bike. So... You know, it depends on what level of acceptance you want because, you know, I'm not like, uh, you don't have to like go hand in hand and, you know, t fucking 10th grade and shit like with the girl and stuff like that here. But it gets to a point where you're like, hey, you, come on, let's go. I got the food <laughs> like that. So, so, you know what I'm getting at? Do you really want to go through that is the question. I don't know the answer. So, yeah. Uh, okay, the last, uh, oh, I've lost auto focus on my thing, I think, here. Fuck. Oh, I don't know how to work this camera. Anyway, last comment of the day, anyway, it doesn't matter. Uh, Apparently a safer environment with less crime, but are women valuing us in Thailand more than <laughs> South America? JF2 Silico Nev, four days ago, six subscribers gangs talked, what did you do? What did I do? I didn't, man, I didn't even do nothing. And by the way, the translator thing got it wrong. I did not say gangs talked. I said gang stalked. Gang stalking is basically like, um, what do you call that shit? Have you ever seen any of the Jason Bourne movies where the Bourne identity stuff like that, where it's a group of like 20 motherfuckers following this guy like around airports and stuff, chasing him through the city and stuff like that? That's what they call gang stalking. This has happened to me since about like November 2014 and it lasted for about a period of four to five years. I've done many videos on this topic. It was relating to the Indian girl's website about some 19 year old Navajo girl that was like supposedly like they said she was a runaway and did this video, but she's 19 and an adult and stuff like that. So, you know, basically people were just following me for a very long time around airports, train stations, entrapment, this and that. And now, to answer your question, bro, just go and Google the document b4pp.pdf. You'll see my name and the whole little entrapment file or whatever they had from OJJDP. And uh, that's that's what gang stalking is. So yay, it's part of the fun world of being an adult video producer. Even when you have all your, goes to show you working with ethnic models. <laughs> that's why I don't try to fuck with them too much. But it's like, um, yeah, even though you have, you have the girl's ID, you have a signed model release, you paid her her money, cash money, a couple hundred bucks, stuff like that. Everything is legal and clear. And later on down the road, they'll still call up you know, whoever where, oh yeah, he, he exploited me. He did this, he did that. Oh, we're, we're on it. We'll follow him around the world now. And now as a turn of irony, I look at this thing and the, like I say, the guy who was in charge of this shit, he's selling used telephones or something on Woot from last I looked at. I'll put a link to the video or the description if you guys care. Mr. Dorian A. Peters, hello. So yeah, that's, that's the end result of fucking with me, right? Because I do everything by the book, etc. And gang stalking is wrong. So any of you who have ever been followed, harassed, doxxed, entrapped, and gone through the ringer and never had any charges pressed against you and stuff like that, that's fucked up, man. You know, but whatever. Listen to hoes. Keep listening to them hoes. Whatever. So that's what gang stalking is to answer your question. So I hope that answers your question. I think that's enough comments for now. I'm at 30 minutes mark. There are plenty more, but I think this file is way too long already. So 30 minutes is a long time to talk. Thank you for listening. I need to light my cigar up. And you guys have a great day. Shimmy from The Shimmy Show. Shimmy Cash, also known as 
and look me up. So Google Shimmy Cash if you want to support me. Uh, buy my movies and want your money, I always say, or just look me up. Better yet, just go to Google or Twitter or whatever and just type in Shimmy Cash. You'll find my stuff. I have many stores, clip stores, many vid stores, my own sites. I film the site Tatikos, Indian Girls, White Girl Cops, The Shemmy Show, White Wives Matter, all these other like series. So if you just search for my name and you want the 18 plus entertainment, that's how you can support my work. And if you have more comments to leave, leave them down below. We're at 30 minutes now, so thank you for watching this very long comment episode. And I hope that the robot thing worked. All right. Signing out from Thailand for now. You guys uh, talk to you later. Ciao. Let's get them. You ready? Yeah. Knock on that door. Delivery. So this is a video where I talk about whether it's a good idea to buy used cell phones from Woot. What is Woot? Woot is a site uh, that offers rotating deals. You go on it one day, they may offer iPhones at a discount. You go on another day, they may offer Android phones for a discount. Sometimes they have clothes and other goods. Like how was your, your shoot or whatever? It was a fun experience. What do you do it again? I'm an easygoing kind of guy. We gotta ask, are you drunk or high on drugs? No, actually I'm not. We gotta ask. All right. Maybe, maybe later. Maybe later. <laughs> cool. All right, well thank you for working for Shimmy Productions. So this is a video where I talk about whether it's a good idea to buy used cell phones from Woo.
TalkTicos.com. Welcome to South Swallander, the happy hour with Dominican girls. Let you fuck them in the shower. Hey, be careful with that. That's fragile. Okay. It's okay, my okay. great grandma's. Watch what you're doing. Sweet. Put it over there. Okay. Right this way. <laughs>